disturbance at Acer Plaza? 10-4 dispatcher, verify address. That's Acer Plaza, repeat, Acer Plaza. Shots fired on the rooftop. An assault in progress at Acer Plaza. Repeat, an assault in progress. Shot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger, and then it was over. To make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. I was still on the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See, Alex? Still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. Sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns, the sounds of children playing, a house across the river on the Jersey side, a beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. Michelle, honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. But they'd give me the best seat in the house. Front row center. What the hell? No, please, Michelle. Oh, baby. Pardon a New York minute. The killer junkies had been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. 
then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover, infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA, the only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. BB here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lupino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street Station. I hadn't had a face-to-face -face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. My Beretta stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. The pills would hold the pain back for a while. Wasn't Jake supposed to take care of it? Hey! Hold it! The security panel let out a mocking cackle. I'd need the right code. While looking for Alex, they had ended up in the middle of a big-time crime operation. Hitting Roscoe Bank, ain't what the hell?
the gate was locked. I would have to find another way to get to the tunnel. Say goodbye. No. Oh. You saved me, man. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appeared from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. to the rail had been cut. I'd have to get it back on to get the train moving. Home free. This way. Oh, look out! <laughs> train lit up like a Christmas tree. The power was back on. The rusty door led to an abandoned part of the station, closed off since the early 40s. Something big was going down in Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. One way or the other, I was gonna find out.
Like Lapino. Now that's spooky. Jack Lapino. Yeah, spooky. But also. It shut ages ago and the bomb was missing a detonator. Okay, fellas. The police are on their way. New York's finest. They're gonna be here soon. So stick to the plan. I Live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. Bank robbers had left their tools on the table. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. The bank robber's score lay on the table. You almost gave me a heart attack! I nearly shot you! Alex, we're well, glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue! It's an armed robbery. A tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why... This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? 
You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lapino, it's... Alex? Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors, cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Paint to the max. You're killing me. Did you make that up yourselves, or you get some wine out downstairs to come up with it? Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plan? The don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he says bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. Pain in the butt. Ha ha! Pain to the max! Joe Scott Pink, I got a ticket to Marble City for you. Eat first and lying down. <laughs> A letter on the desk caught my eye. Bosses! Everything all right? Bosses! Joey! Vigilio! You all right now? They're not answering. Call the others. Tell them to come quick. Okay, but we can't wait for them. We gotta go in now! Bosses! We're coming in! It's paint! Thank you. 
In his press conference today, the mayor stated that Valkyr represents a clear danger to New York and called for drastic actions to eliminate the problem. On today's top story, the Valkyr crisis worsens with the murder of DEA Special Agent Alex Balder. Special Agent Balder had been shot repeatedly from a point-blank range. The gunman has been identified as Max Payne. The noose is sure to tighten around this fugitive criminal as more NYPD units join the search to apprehend him. I had just gotten my 15 minutes of fame. Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. And now, an all-new episode of Lords and Ladies, brought to you in part by Acer Corporation. Head junkies could go off without a warning. I had to be careful.